you like to destroy shit? Me too. Rampage World Tour was a game I rented often from Blockbuster. This is the N64 version because it's the copy I own. You can play as George the Gorilla, Lizzie the Lizard, but I always called them King Kong and Godzilla. And last but not least, you can play as Ralph the Werewolf. The game was developed as an arcade game for Midway by Game Refuge designers Brian Collin and Jeff Nauman. It was then ported to the Sega Saturn, Nintendo 64, Game Boy Color, PlayStation, and Microsoft Windows. Like in the first Rampage game, the goal of every stage is to destroy all the buildings in each city while avoiding or destroying the military forces. What was really cool about Rampage World Tour was that the player has some control over the course of the game. In the first level, a tourism billboard cycles through different regions in the country. Destroying the billboard when it's showing up in one of these regions will send the player in that direction. Players may also choose to ignore or eat the World Tour power-ups and control which country they visit. The most memorable power-up is the purple radioactive waste, which transforms the player into a super monster known as Vern. The game will not end until every Scum Lab city has been destroyed, which may cause some erratic traveling towards the end of the game. PlayStation Pro gave the game 4 out of 10 in 1997, and you know what? Fuck them. What the fuck do they know? I love this game and it's a classic of that generation. It's stuffed with monster movie fun, and Rampage World Tour is a must play for the N64 and PlayStation. Seriously, if you haven't played this game, play it. It's an arcade game that provides hours of entertainment. After all these years, I still find myself returning to Rampage World Tour. Hey guys, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Check out our other videos too while you're at it. And see you next time on Guillotine Gaming.